there it is. There it is. We're recording. Okay, you guys, thanks for being flexible with us. Um, Stacy and I hopped over to Zoom and we are recording this so that you can watch it as a playback. And so we will try to figure out tech for next week. Next week, Amy Jones of Morton is going to jump on and join us. And so a little bit of background, especially if you're brand new, um, this is this is kind of a, a renewed um, format for our team. I used to do these every just kind of once in a while where I would grab a teammate and have her come on Facebook Live with me or on Zoom with me and we would talk through um, just some things that she's experiencing in her business and it's just a good opportunity for you guys to hear from people that aren't just me but I want to start doing it more formally and so I'm not going to promise that we're going to do it every Tuesday night but my goal is to do this on most Tuesday nights again just to give you guys something else to hear other people to learn from um, as you continue your work as an ambassador so this is Stacy Stacy has been an ambassador since September of last fall September. Okay. Yeah, end of September awesome so one of the reasons I asked Stacy to jump on with us tonight is because Stacy's had a pretty darn incredible um, 2019 so far. And so I wanted you guys all just to kind of get to know her. And um, behind the scenes, Stacy's like, I don't have anything magical to say. And I'm like, yep, that's kind of the point. Like it's just, but she has something valuable to say. And so um, you guys have probably heard me say before that our work as an ambassador and like direct sales in general, it's not it's, it's simple work, like it's a simple formula, um, but that doesn't mean it's easy. And so I hope our conversation tonight is an encouragement to you. I'll try to keep an eye on the clock, that way we don't talk for too terribly long. I'm thinking, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, we'll just kind of see how the conversation goes. So Stacy, um, we talked about you joining last fall, right. but would you, guys, would you give everybody just kind of an idea, I know the answer to this, but how you found out about Noonday, but secondly, um, what your why was for joining Noonday, and I guess I'm going to ask you a third question of that, is maybe tell us a little bit about what your life looks like outside of Noonday, and kind of just what you have going on in your life. So kind of pick any of those, and if I need to kind of repeat the question. All, okay. Okay, well. okay, so I joined in September, and I was, it was a slow start. And then I really actually kind of kicked off my business in February of this year. So um, I was going to an event for, it was a charitable event and I needed a, a feathered earring to wear. This is like the real story. I, I didn't know this. <laughs> yeah, this is the, this is the real like why. So it, not the one you have on, but the one from a couple seasons ago, the big, the one that's very similar to the pink earring we have now, the pink feather, but it was royal blue. Yes. And like a gray. That was the so, feathered fringe cobalt. Yes. The cobalt. Yes. So I was going to a charitable event and I had, it was a country Western theme and I needed a big statement earring. So I was looking online and looking online and I stumbled across those earrings. And so I purchased them and, and like a wrap bracelet or something. And it came to my house and I loved it. And I thought, you know, this is good. And I wore them and I, lots of people commented on them and I just, it felt comfortable in them. Um, and then I was kind of, I work, so I work for a big organization and I'm always like looking for some kind of accessory to wear, to kind of make the outfit something new. So I was I online shopping again and I thought, okay, I'll go back to noon day and I'll look again to see if there's an accessory or something. And so I bought a couple other things that came to my house really quickly and, you know, I liked them again. And so I just, from that, it just kind of became something that I then made an effort to kind of go online and figure out like, what is this and what does it stand for? and What does it mean? And then I am, I went to an IF conference a couple years ago now and I, it was really outside my comfort zone to do something like that. That's not generally, um, I went by myself, you know, that kind of thing. But I, and uh, that was the very first time that I had seen a table. So I had seen Jessica at this table um, and I got to see the whole collection kind of all at once. So then, you know, I asked her a couple questions. You had on an earring that I immediately went home and bought <laughs> that earring right away. Um, I just knew the quality of the product and I knew that, I had worked in retail a long, long, long time ago. I have a career, lots of career changes and whatnot, but I had, I've done customer service and I've done selling and that kind of thing. Um, and it's, and it's creative and just, just the way that you kind of run your business. And I always kind of thought about potentially doing selling something like this. So 
I just thought a lot about it for almost a year, I would say, about should I do this? Should I not do this? And it just so happened that with my career, I work, like I said, for a large organization. It was just in a spot where there was kind of a, you have peaks and valleys in your career all the time. And this was just kind of a valley for me. And I was looking for something that was creative and it just was the right time. And so mm-hmm. I think I reached out to you and, you know, just asked some questions and then took the leap. Yeah, you did. That's, that's the full story. And I remember, I remember meeting Stacy at that if, um, but this is a good lesson to just like always be open to, you don't know who's, who's approaching you at an event that is then going to continue to think about like, should I be an ambassador? Is this something, is there a spot for me? That sort of thing. And so I did remember meeting you and I'm, I remember faces before I remember names. And so I think you emailed me or messaged me or something. And I didn't remember your name. I didn't rec- like mm-hmm. that. Oh stand out as from if, but then as soon as I saw your face, I'm like, I know exactly who that is. So, well, I, you gave me a book. I remember I took a book and I, oh, a lookbook, a lookbook. And I know how now, like, you know what I mean? Like if you're at an event, you're sort of like, what is she taking that for? Is she really going to purchase something with that? But it's that kind of like, is she serious? Is she not serious? But I, I looked at the book and looked at the book, but then I finally tore off the page that had your information on it and I kept it in my planner and I just you know every so often I would turn to that page and like see it and then you know a few days later I would see it or a week later I would see it so it was kind of always there and always in the back of my mind but again it was like I don't need another job I don't need you know what I mean I'm really really busy you know those kinds of things so it just really had to be the right time I think for anybody it just has to be kind of that sweet spot time yeah so Stacy started in September when we were, did our first, I think, rustic leather tote join promotion, right? Yes. And so then you got your bag I and Stacy says, you know, I started real slow and mm-hmm. while she started slower than what her spring has looked like, you were still pretty consistent at hitting like a thousand dollars a month or so. I did. Remember, right? I did. Which yep. the great thing about that is I always say that that's like a great baseline goal for everybody because you're mm-hmm. at least earning something. You're earning right. $300, kind of depending on where you're at. You're getting some product credit. And then you actually went to Shine in January as I well. Did. And it wasn't until we got to shine that Stacy told me she hadn't officially launched her business yet. I like you had shows and you were doing things and we were connecting, but you're right. like, well, I haven't actually like really launched my no, show. No. You and that, came home and did that right away. I did. I just was having a little bit, I, I was excited about the product and I knew I bought the big, big collection when you first start, yes. you know what I mean? To start because I felt like I needed to, I knew I would wear all of the things and I knew that I personally was an investment for me and what, again, what I wear to work and those kinds of things. So that I was excited about, but I just really couldn't figure out the right words to, you know, approach someone. I just really didn't feel like I had the tools. And again, I had done sales before, so it wasn't, it just, I am a kind of person that kind of needs to know kind of from top to bottom the the background or the I need I don't necessarily even today I don't I don't have any idea what the names of a lot of the products are but I hold that book in my hands and someone says what is the price of this and I said let me look that up for you and then I I explain how the back of the book works with the necklaces and Mm -hmm. you know the bracelets and then the earrings and the alphabetical order and the countries that they come from you know so that kind of stuff I'm totally okay with but I just didn't really know how to ask someone to host for me and then I went to shine and I got to see all of these women in one room who ran their businesses really differently. So everybody did kind of their own thing. It was supported by this big umbrella and lots of you know, really kind and supportive women, but they really were very unique about the way that they you know, ran their own business and the, the time commitment that they put into it. Or you know, like I, I was telling you, like there's, I don't have a secret sauce. There's nothing that I do. I have a lot to learn. Like I was a little bit like, what am I going to say? You know what I mean? Even on this call, just because I'm like, I'm so new. I want to learn from someone that's done this for three years. That really has, is way beyond their friend circle, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I recognize that I am absolutely kind of still in that sweet spot with regard to kind of launching. I just, you know, really appreciate the product. I love the product. I, you know, I love the mission and it's really easy for me to talk about. So that's awesome. 
Yeah. Let's, and I'm going to, I'm kind of going off. I know I sent you some crazy questions, but I know that you can handle it. Um, okay. So let's talk about your launch show because we have, I know we've got, we've got three or four gals who are pretty brand new, mm -hmm. um, that will probably be watching this and everybody's always like, wait, what do I do? What do I do with my launch show? So you had done, you had already done some, you'd already been in New York yes. before you had what yes. you call your official yes. launch. Yes. So did you host it? Did you host I it did. with someone? So you hosted it. Mm -hmm. and, then, and that one was easy. That one was easy for me because it was in my own home. So did, it was, mm -hmm. I did the snacks. I did the drinks. I picked the time frame. you know, that kind of thing. And I knew people would come to my house. They were excited for me. You know what I mean? When I put the ask out there, I had lots and lots of friends and whatnot and neighbors and things that came in. They were very supportive. So that was not, that was, and then even in my own home asking, can you host or would you love to host and talking about the mission and when they were all in awe of seeing all the products, I had so much of it, you know, at one time, that part was easy beyond that though. Then you're packing it up in your car and you're driving it somewhere and you're wondering how long is it going to take me to set it up and once you kind of get that first one under your belt too, it, it's a really not that bad. It's, yeah. I mean, I, it's, you know what I mean? It's like that couple hours goes really quickly. And then before you know it, you're like back in your car. And I typically come home and I enter the things right away mm -hmm. because I really want them to get the product as quickly as they can. So the faster they're in the queue kind of thing, that's important to me. Um, you know, and I've always, I've heard people at, at different shows say, Oh my gosh, it comes so fast. It's like a week. So, you know, mm -hmm. Oh, like our shipping. Report. You guys, we've come so far. Our shipping is so much better than it used to be. It's good. It really it's is. Really and good. Most, things, most things ship um, USPS. The heavier items are coming, I think, like FedEx ground, but it's pretty good now. Mm -hmm. We went through a couple years with some heartache, but things are so much better. All right. So, who did you invite to your lunch? Like, and how many people would you say that you invited? Oh, I invited lots. I invited lots and lots. Well over 100, probably. Okay. Like, you know, and so, like and I'm assuming. First probably from different circles. Yeah. Just people from work, neighbors. I had, uh, you know, people that brought friends. I had a girl that I grew up with and we used to go take dance classes together when I was five years old. Like she came, <laughs> her mom came. I had people coming from 30 miles away, you know, like it was just, I, you know, very, very, you know, lucky that, but my mom lives in Florida. Like she didn't come. My sister lives in Indianapolis. She didn't, you know, you know what I mean? So it was like, just coworkers, neighbors, friends, that kind of thing. And so then were you able to book quite a few shows off your launch? Cause I know, I mean, I yes. kind of have like the insider info where I know a little bit about what you're, I can see, I can see everybody's sales. I can't, mm -hmm. right. I can't dig in, but I can see how things are going. And then just talking to you, like, I know that you have just had a ton of trunk shows, probably specifically February and March. Right. Right. And February so, coming off of shine when they gave us that goal of, you know, you could earn those free things, the six or seven items or whatnot. With the launch promotion. That, that was totally my goal. That was absolutely so coming off of the launch, it was how do I get that bag? Do you know what I mean? Like if they're gonna give me that bag, I'm absolutely gonna get that bag. Like that was a big deal to me. And to some people it's not, but it was just again, it was I felt like I had the right kind of launching pad. So it was it, you know, even if a show was small for me for that month, it still felt like traction. I've been, my, my day job is very stressful. And so this is just also, I have a lot of fun doing this, but it's also, I am really kind to myself when I'm doing it. I don't have all the answers and I don't, I'm sometimes, I made a huge mistake the other day. Like I added something up and I'm good at math, but I added something <laughs> up and it was t like, I, I wrote it down on the paper and I gave it to this woman and then I came home and added it again. And I was like, I'm like $12 off. Like I'm like, that, that is not like a rounding error. That's like bad. You know what I mean? So I had to call her and like, I don't, I was talking and telling someone something about a product and just, you know what I mean? Like multitasking. So I owned it. Um, you know, that I, at my very last trunk show, I just did a woman, which I did not know this because the, the trunk show was on the first of the month. They were eligible for the February and mm -hmm. what was it? The first a, of April. They were window. Yeah, they were eligible for the March. She just happened to want the the fifty percent off item from March and April. She wrote down, and so I obviously had her. She had written me a check though, so I had to write her a check. She didn't have you know PayPal and whatnot, and mail that back to her. You know what I mean? So there's 
like little stumbling blocks all the way, but it's totally good. It's everybody's receptive. Everybody's kind. I wrote her a big, you know, handwritten thank you note and stuck a check in there. And, you know, she was happy. So. I, love that. I love the point to remember to just be kind to ourselves. I always, I often try to say, and I'm somebody, if you guys, if you don't know me well, I actually am somebody that is prone to anxiety. And a lot of people don't know that once they hang out with me for a little bit, they get it a little bit more, but I can, I'm somebody who could potentially um, roll a situation over in my head over and over again. And especially when I first started five years ago and then just feel terrible. And it got to a point where I had to remember that I'm human. A, I'm going to yeah. make mistakes. It's okay for people to see me make mistakes because there's no value. There's really no value in them thinking that I'm doing this perfectly, especially if maybe they have an interest in doing this job too. Mm -hmm. Like, if they see me make tiny mistakes, that's actually good. And yeah, I mean, just like an abundance of grace. I also like to say that 95% of the time, you're still going to be the expert in the room on noon oh, for sure. and yeah. on fair trade. And so where you might be, feel like you're falling short, people are just still turning to you expecting they're going to take home two or three pieces of information that they remember. They're not going to write down everything you say and examine all of your processes and then look at it critically when you get home. So awesome. Okay. So now that you've gotten through your super busy February and March, yeah. um, like going forward, like, do you have specific goals that are just in your head? And again, you work full time. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have like a specific, are you, if you're a goal oriented person, like I want to do I would love to do X number of trunk shows a month. Like that's a good healthy place for me. Or I want to like noonday has these incentives for, for trips and recognition, like, or any of, is any of that part of your goals? But like, what is, when you think of this year moving forward, now that you're through launch, what do you kind of want it to look like for you? I think uh, definitely qualifying for a trip. I think, you know, because of what I've had so far, the first couple months, you know, has done really well. And I will say a, a, a couple of those shows were pretty big and those people have already reached back out to me to say, I want to do it. As soon as that fall line hits, I want to do this again. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. So really, really kind people that, you know, love the product, love, love, love the product. So, um, you know, I, I kind of am learning that it, it will be peaks and valleys. I, mm -hmm. I took a hard look at your, I'm a numbers person and I took a hard look at even when you roll out like who, you know, what March looks like for your whole team, the, this noonday team, the, and what April looks like. And, you know, and it, there's a, there's a Valley, the, the mm -hmm. May, June, July kind of, and then it spikes again with, with obviously the next launch and things. So I, I would assume that my business will most likely do something like that for this month. I can tell you I've had, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay. Nope. Um, <laughs> I'm getting other texts from work. So, um, I, this month I've done one trunk show that's been really big and I have kind of a vendor event at the end of the month and that's it for me. And that's not at all like what February or March was like, but I also made it a goal for myself to take some time this month to like dig into some of the emails that come at us and the mm -hmm. online learning that we have. And like, yeah. do I have a packet now that I kind of have some traction? Do I, if, if somebody did approach me and wanted to uh, come on board, like what I know what to say. So have, do I have like something in my fingertips that I could potentially feel good about handing that person? So all for me, all of that takes time too. Yeah. And with a full-time job, I can't be at a trunk show and doing all those things and spending every Saturday, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. doing noonday or doing my full-time job. So again, it goes back to like being kind to yourself and really saying like, okay, for April, I'm still going to get that thousand dollar target or whatnot. Like that's always like kind of a bottom line for me. Um, mm -hmm. I would want to work towards that because honestly, and maybe this is crazy, but I feel like if they're going to give you $50 again <laughs> for, you know what I mean? To purchase the new items for that next, then I, then I want to see, I want to challenge myself to see if I can get there. Yeah. So. so if anybody's brand new and, um, just doesn't have that fresh off the top of their, off of your mind, that thousand dollars is such an important sales marker for consistency each month, because that's when everybody, whether you're a runway ambassador or you're out of runway, um, that's when you get the free product. So if you sell 980 dollars 
no free product. And so I'm right. like you, I kind of, which yes, have the thousand base for right. sure. And then right. um, just like be willing to be kind to yourself and let the, you know, it's, it's a flexible business. So yeah. let's let it be flexible. And I always right. say be willing to change as like your right. capacity changes throughout the year. I think that's great advice. Okay. Well, and the, other, the other piece of that is I feel like if April is like this and I'm really, I've spent a lot of time thinking through my list of who do I want to invite to trunk shows and who are my next folks for, you know, May, June, July. Lots of people were saying, I want summer, you know, once my kids are out of school and the, like getting all that lined up again, take some time and, you know, in my area, what is a, regarding adoption? Like how, how does that work and who's involved in that? And, and could I tap into some of that? Like mm -hmm. just kind of doing, kind of planning the business, I feel like. And then once I have even a year under your belt or even one season, then you kind of see how could I ramp up? Maybe next year, my April will be huge because I'll do different things or whatnot. But for right now, I just feel like I'm trying to take it one step at a time. I love it. I love it. Do you feel like you have with any of your hostesses that you've had, um, because you did do a whole bunch of shows right away that's mm -hmm. at the beginning of this year, or when you think are thinking about those gals that are going to host with you in um, like the summer that you were just talking about, do you mm -hmm. feel like you have stepped into your next circle yet? Or do you feel like you're, oh, yeah. in that, you have, okay. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that for you. Like, was that something that you intentionally were like, I got to get out of my first circle quick or did it just happen for you based on who was coming to Trunk Show? Um, it's sort of kind of a little bit of both, I guess. It was, you know, I had a lot of really eager friends that wanted to say yes right away and they wanted to, you know, coming out of that February, uh, the, the launch kind of at my house, lots of my, even high school friends and whatnot showed up and they said, absolutely and it was boom the next month because I wasn't letting them say no because I want you know what I mean or whatever I was getting that bag <laughs> like, <laughs> so, it, cause, and truly knowing that coming out of shine and knowing that those were the seven or eight things I didn't purchase those things with right. my, the you know the money that I had earned from the fall so I knew I needed you know what I mean I, I specifically bought other things so just being smart about that kind of you know that kind of thing but getting into that other circle is, is kind of exciting, I feel like. So it's, it's, I like kind of the challenge of going to a house of, you know, where I know maybe the hostess a little bit and then all of her friends, it's, to me, that's brand new territory. And that makes me a little bit outside, it's out, you're outside of your comfort zone, but I feel like I'm almost more free to ask, can you host, can you host, those kinds of things. Because I really know in your core group of friends, you really know who's going to want to either come on board or host or, or those kinds of things and who doesn't maybe have the capacity to do yeah. that. So I always say when you get into that second circle um, or third circle or whatever, like when you start to be able to look at a trunk show and say, I met Stacy at Aaron's show and I met Aaron mm -hmm. at Amy's show and I met Amy at Emily's show and Emily was at my launch. Mm -hmm. It gets so fun mm -hmm. because you just get to do your job. Right. And you don't have to worry about like, <laughs> am I pestering my cousin by continuing to ask her if she's hosting a show? Like, right. is she saying yes, even though she doesn't really want to? And so it right. gets really fun, but it does take a show to introduce you to that next group of people. Like it, it's, it takes, it can go quick. It went pretty quick for you, but yeah. man, it gets Well, fun. I can tell you too, the other thing with my friends, the, the hour and a half to two hours or whatnot, like I usually say two hours you know, or I'll put that on the invitation, but some of those shows, because they're my really close friends, were five hour shows, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, a long, long yeah. time. One was even longer than that. And it was like an, almost an all day thing. And, you know, neighbors ended up coming at the end, different neighbors and, you know, the husbands of people, you know, and that kind of thing. So <laughs> honestly, the second group is at two hours and you're kind of, like you said, doing your job and it's, you know, you know it's, it's more manageable for sure. Awesome. Okay. So let's wrap up, but, um, I want to go back a little bit and talk about shine because mm -hmm. I personally think it was so, I was so thrilled. There were a few of you that were there that were pretty new. And I think that's huge because I always say when you can get with 
artisans and you can get with home office, it really puts legs on what you read or you watch. But was there anything that you heard at Shine that was just either an artisan story that impacted you or just the way somebody described how Noonday worked? More like uh, more side or because I know I know that hearing like the business and like the strategy and this is how I right. do it was impactful for right. you. That's how my brain tends to work a lot too. Yeah. But I mean there's this amazing opportunity to meet artisans. <laughs> I think I think the biggest piece being a new person and hearing the artisans, you you have something to tell at a at a trunk show. You've mm -hmm. actually seen it with your own eyes or you've given that woman a hug or you've stood next to them for a long, long time to try to take a picture or whatever, yes, you, did. you know, um, you, you're, they're real. They're like, you, you can reach out and touch them. Like they, it's not just something that you get in your email or whatever. Like you, you've actually, so again, that's why I think, you know, being qualifying to be able to go to a, tr a, sh um, a trip or something like that, just even further ingrains exactly why you're doing what you're doing. So mm -hmm. that was impactful for me. The other thing that was impactful and I, I can't remember exact. I think Ray, is it Ray Ann? I think yes. she may have said it. You spend the same amount of energy to do a trunk show for $300 that you do for a thousand, you know, what I, mm -hmm. and, and that really totally stayed with me. The exact same setup happens, the exact same effort happens. So why not have your trunk show hit a thousand dollars? So yeah. what do I need to do to try to, um, I, I can honestly tell you, I had one trunk show this month and it was the very beginning of April and it was a $1,600 trunk show. And about a week before they had like two people invited. Do you know what I mean? So, wow. it was, so what was the difference? The difference really was I, she's a good friend of mine. And I just, I called her up and I said, okay, come on, like who <laughs> else can we invite here? You know what I mean? And truly I would probably do that to just about anybody, but it was like, your mom's not invited or you're, you're, you have a sister-in-law that's not invited. Like, and you know what I mean? I know some of those and she's like, Oh, I told them about it. You know what I mean? I said, well, what can I help you with? Do you want me to send you another email? Because that, I didn't talk about that, but I do my shows and I know that it's shine. They told us not to do this, but I do them strictly on Facebook, um, at, um, events. I do. Ooh. I personally set up the event and I make the person who's the host, the co event hostess or whatever on the thing. And I personally publish photos or whatnot or write something almost every day for every day, every other day for a good solid, like three weeks. So, awesome. you know, as it gets, I, you know what I mean? I just keep it in front of them and I try to mix it up with stories about artisans or God bless the person, um, you know, whoever, Aubrey, I think it was that made all of those into bit files, all of the different videos. She put them all in one link or one kind of, um, I don't know. I'm gonna you have to that. have you back for an online trunk show training. <laughs> no, not an online not. event training. Oh yeah, like <laughs> that's. But I need to go to whoever is speaking next. Needs to tell me how to do an online show. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to do that at all. So if somebody wants to invite me to that, I can. I will take that learning any day <laughs> because that's a huge part of the business that I'm not even touching. You know. So yeah, yeah. It's you know. It's it takes learning every day and error and yeah, just learning new things. I love that what I heard you say is that you hostess coach. I mean, you might yes. not call it that, yes. but you are staying yes. in close contact with your hostess, yes. knowing who's invited, knowing what her RSVPs are. Yes. You are also making her job easy by saying, what yeah. do you need for me? And can I give you, can I give you another whatever for you to send mm -hmm. out? And you are making sure you stay in front of the guests so that mm -hmm. they're excited by the time the show rolls around. So if they ask questions on Facebook, I answer the questions. If they say, can I get a lookbook? I, I link the file immediately. I typically send the hostess um, like an email. I'll email them with like maybe a one pager that they could kind of turn around if they want to email that to other people. But for the majority, the people, what's working right now is people don't have emails that I've, you know, that I've seen. And this just is working for me. I don't know if it will work for everyone, but great. It, it's, it's, it's been working for me. Yeah. So. Hey, my philosophy is, and so I've, I've been doing this long enough to know that like some things are definitely regional. Like I feel like, so Stacy and I are 45 minutes from each other. Mm -hmm. And so we're in central Illinois. So it is not a surprise to me at all that Facebook is still working really, really well. I mm -hmm. find in some communities it doesn't or in some dem demographics it doesn't. 
but um, I am a huge believer in try it and see if it works. And if it right. doesn't, try something else. Like you really can take in information from other ambassadors or from home office and um, you'll get ideas of best practices. Yeah. But in the end, we're all running our individual business and we have to figure out what works well for our personalities, for our time availability, for our style. And so I think you're just doing a great job. I didn't know, I didn't know that part about you. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I and mean, I'd love to be better at some of those other tools that they were talking about at Shine. And at some point, you know what I mean? That'll be, I'll be kind to myself another month and I'll learn all that. But, but right now I'm, I'm going with what works. Awesome. I love it. Well, thank you so much for just yeah. jumping on. And fun. you did say lots of valuable things. I know you, you're like, why am I talking? Because I knew you would have something awesome to say. So next okay. week, um, Amy Jones who is awesome. in Morton, who's in between you and I. I've got a bunch of yep. such great gals right now lined up to talk. She is going to talk to us about Amy does an amazing job of consistently posting to her VIP group. <laughs> Dial photo. Uh, that would be my dogs. That's okay. <laughs> Instagram, she does a great job. So Amy's going to kind of just talk through her process and how she like manages that next week. So I'll let you go. Wait, I want to see That's the dog. Good. Yeah, say That's good. Is she going to say hi? The dog? This, oh no. This one? Do you want to say hi real fun? Can you see her? There's oh my two, goodness. Two right here. Is yeah. this the one that was talking though? No, this is the one that's not talking. The oh. other one wants a bone. So okay. <laughs> we'll let you go. Thanks, Stacey. Thank you. Bye. Bye.